Are you going to go out and go potty? You're going to the doctor Thursday morning. Yeah, we're going to figure out what's going on with your skin. You ain't got fleas or nothing. You wouldn't even go outside. You just keep, you know, we're going to get you checked out. Google. Yeah. Welcome to the channel. My name is Mike and we are out on the screened in patio. I'm going to try to get a bunch of work done today. I'm not going to say what. We're going to do. I got this stuff for the electrical to do. So I want to get the fan up and at least get that run. Uh, I did pick up the metal corrugated tin for the bottom down here. Don't know if I'll get to that. Uh, I'm going to get as much done as I can because tomorrow uh, I've got to go to the eye doctor. Me and Jeff are going to the eye doctor and then Thursday, yeah, I'll have Wednesday. Thursday, Rooster has a doctor's appointment. Uh, she's not been herself, and she's her belly's red and irritated. She's pulling out fur, so I want to get her taken care of. Figure out what's going on with the little rooster. So she's got to go see the doctor Thursday morning. So I'm gonna try to get as much done as I can today, and possibly Wednesday. I think we're supposed to get some rain. Don't matter in here. It's dry in here. All right, man, let's get to work. All right, first thing I do is clean this mess up, get some of this stuff out of my way. All right. All right, cut a piece for this. Alexa, resume. Alexa, pause. I can only do eight seconds of that. Or I'll get a copyright. All right. Before I can start on the electrical, I gotta get this piece I just cut on here. Where, what am I looking for? I have got the energy of a crippled frog today. Oh, crowbar. I ain't got none. This is my camera wires. Once I get everything wired up, I'll get all that tucked away real nice. Uh, let me get this up and we'll start on the electrical. Alexa, resume. All right, I, I haven't been too good about filming today. Uh, I got the Outlook box run. Biggest problem is I don't know what I'm doing in the future on the ceiling, so I don't really know. I think I'm just going to run the, like that is the, uh, that's the power that's coming out of the box to the uh, ceiling fan. So I'm just going to leave it like that for now. And then I got to run the uh, conduit for the switch and for the main power. Uh, I'm going to probably leave that up in the ceiling like that and just run that straight down into some conduit there. Because I really don't know what I'm going to do here. Uh, I priced everything today. Uh, man, I mean, I bought the tin for the bottoms. Two years ago when I bought that, it was like $14 for an 8-foot sheet. Now, $30. So, I will not be doing this roof in the metal. It's just too much. And I may not do anything with it for a long time, for a few years, till prices come down if they ever do. I even priced a pegboard to put in this dog apartment. They can't even get it. And if they did, it would be 30 bucks a sheet. That is insane. So, uh, and I ain't moving to a very good pace today, but I do want to get this ceiling fan up. So, all this mess of wires is mostly the security system. I hooked it back up uh, temporarily. These wires are run like that. I'll get them fixed up uh, I did get it connected to the internet what I had to do was order a an adapter that goes into the Starlink modem that I could plug the Ethernet cable into and, and now I can get on my phone anywhere I'm at I could pull up any of these cameras 
I can review it, take snapshots. I mean, it's cool. I'll get into that another time. But anyway, let me get this going again. It's not too bad out here today. It's hot, but it's bearable. So I'm going to get this run. And like I said, that's about all I'm going to do. Because I don't know what I'm doing up here. So that'll be fine just like that. But I got to get this part in conduit. So let me get the rest of it running. I don't even know if I got enough parts. They were I had to go to three different stores to find everything. <laughs> All right, man. All right, Jeff. Excuse the fan. I ain't turning it off. I've got all the fancy crimpers and all that. And you know I can't find none of it. You just hacksaw it. This stuff's real easy to take. It doesn't take much. Sucks not knowing what, what I'm going to be putting up there, if anything. So, I'm going to do it. I think I'm doing it. I don't want to hear nobody going, You should have did it this way. You should have did it that way because I don't know what I'm doing later. That's why I'm doing it. But I do like people's advice. But I just want to get it right. Got him. That squirrel, I got him. Oh, oh, Lord. missed him. Oh. All right, let's get this piece on there. We'll swing all over yonder. We'll do some silliness. All right. They should not be feeding hay till December. And they're already feeding them hay. So figure that into what you think beef's going to be later. I've already, it's been $2.98 a pound for ground beef in my store, which is a lot cheaper than it's been. Uh, so I've been buying the hell out of it. My freezer's full to the brim now. I can't buy any more. So I need to get a full size freezer. So I'm going to be looking into that. But if you don't buy it now, it's going to be crazy this winter. I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to be nuts. And that will work. Because hay, I forget. It's, <laughs> I watched one video, it's $90 per round bed. They generally go for $30. So think about that. And if they're already feeding it, not only that, they've only had one hay harvest this year. That's here. I don't know if that's everywhere, but it's a good part of the country. So figure in that. And what they're doing now, a lot of these guys are just selling them, selling their cattle. Because they just can't afford to feed them. Everything has went up. And there's more than just feeding them that goes into having cattle. I mean, you got to worm them. A lot to it. So you better make plans to become a vegetarian and grow your own garden. It's coming. I mean, you, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure that out. If they're already feeding them hay, you know, they're not going to maintain the same prices on things. And it may get to where we're not even, we're not even going to be able to get it. 
what's going to happen right now is there's going to be an overabundance of it because they're selling them off. So you're going to be pulled because the prices will go down. Once all that's slaughtered, yeah, that's why I say you better pack those freezers. doesn't matter what it costs now because it's going to be a whole lot more later. Oh. That's my rant for the day. Just my observation. And if you're watching the news, you've seen it too. I know for a fact that they're feeding them hay because I see them go in here. And up there, all the pastures are dead. They're brown. Cattle won't eat that. Ugh. All right, guys, we'll cut off this boring part. I'll come back when I start doing the wiring. Hamburgers are going to get high, man. All right, everything's wrong. Just going to put the outlets in. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. This is the main power. Right. I got no strength. Hey, I might. Sucks getting old. You lose strength and everything, man. My hands are terrible. <sighs> These are the best cutters in the world. <sighs> I'm not gonna film all of this, guys. Just uh, damn it. Oh, I hope tomorrow's eye doctor's uh, appointment cures this not being able to see nothing. I need to turn a light on. Wait a minute, that's what I'm doing. Actually, this isn't the light. Alright, one outlet. I hate those kind of ones. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Rooster is just, she is not feeling good. Got her appointment Thursday. Soon as I can get her in. She's eating. She's drinking plenty of water. She just now doesn't want to go out to go to the bathroom. And she's got a skin issue. So, I don't know if that's related or not. Not a vet, but I just you know your dog, you know when they're not when they're not right. She's not right. At all. I 
hopefully find out what's going on with her. I don't like my little girl to be sick. Are you wired? Well, I put you in there. There you go. Just take it. I already got the light switch button. Alright guys, it's boring. Come back. Well, got the outlet wired. Uh, apparently I got the wrong kind of cover plate, so I'm gonna have to go get one of them. I'll take it off now. Now I'm gonna open this fan up, start wiring this dude up, and uh we'll flip or attach it to the uh, other outlet in there. And we should have power in here. We'll see. Alright, we'll get the storm blowing in. That stuff is swirling around up there. But I don't think it's gonna amount to much. Man, this weather is just crazy anymore. My flag is already tattered. I ordered a new one, but I got a good embroidered one that's just a piece cheap piece of printed cloth it's already faded worn out all right let me get back getting this fan up well looks like it's raining over there in the mountain ain't got any here yet just a lot of heavy wind all right let me get these blades on this fan fun Mama Mia, Mama Mia, let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. I'm just a poor boy, nobody loves me. I don't need this. Oh, you're there. Hanging a ceiling fan is kind of like scraping dog poop off your shoe. It ain't something you want to do every day. This one's very simple. Alright, that's for a lighting kit. Uh, have it. More light connection. We'll connect it. Alright, so we got a ground, we got the light, we got a common and a hot. Yeah, pretty simple. Alright, so these all gotta get wired together. And it don't look like they give me a lot of room to tuck these wires, so pull these up there. Get in there. I believe that is level. 
Now I'm in the middle of a thunderstorm with a lot of lightning. I am not going to hook this up to the <laughs> juice yet. I know it'll work. So we've got that done. I got to get a new cover for it. I think I have one somewhere uh, in the shed. I know I got one. Got the light switch on. All we got to do is go in there, hook it up to the receptacle. Uh, put that fan on a, and it's, <laughs> you talk about barely, barely missing it. But it does, that's all that matters. And I couldn't go any lower down this way because then, you know, you're going to be hitting, running into it and bumping things. Let's go out here and see what it's doing. I feel a little bit of rain, but <laughs> usually you get all this dramatic wind and stuff, and then there's 72 drops of rain. And that's just what we got. But this thunder and lightning will probably hang on a while. Let's go check the garden out. This has not been a good garden year because of the heat. I shouldn't probably be out here, but yeah but i'm getting peppers that one should be picked they're not just they're just not getting that big tomatoes took a pretty bad uh hit but they're coming back in fact yeah is it this one yeah this one's the one that got all stripped down look it's coming back all the leaves are coming back on it they're just not doing good they're not putting out much blossoms it's not been a good garden year at all got peppers to get off here the uh, cayennes, all nice and red. And look at the wind did the other day. All these marigolds got, boy, these things get, they get giant. I mean, but uh, yeah, they're not doing good at all. Of course, I let the cucumbers go to cucumber heaven. And we're we'll starting to get a few tomatoes back. But it's not near going to be the season it was last year. It was just too hot, and I personally, I haven't really had the time to come out here and mess with it. Not like I should have. Uh, got all kinds of peppers. I'm gonna get some of these picked before they go bad. They're just not getting big. Look at these things. I'll come out here later and get them. Look, I got a lot of new blossoms coming on the peppers. These have been the best things I've had. Them romas are all but dead. Them romas are dead. Yeah, pretty sad. I think I got that romas hanging on. Got some okras I let get too big. Those are too big to eat. Anyway, guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, appreciate it if you'd subscribe. Give me a like. Give me an unlike. I don't care. There's the cattle eating the hay bales. Uh, probably wasn't the most interesting one today, but it was time consuming doing all that stuff, man. So, we're getting there further along. Still need to get up here, screw this metal down better, put the flashing in so the water don't rain in where the posts go. Uh, it's cool enough now I can get out here, probably start that in the morning. I gotta get this deck up here, man. I'm, I'm ready for it. Get this finished. Now this room, pretty much all I gotta do is put that tin up and uh, I've got it there in the back of the truck. Go over and check it out. Uh, here we go. Seen on the news, they saw a nine foot diamondback rattlesnake somewhere here in Arkansas. That thing was huge, you could eat a dog. Yeah, this is what I'm putting on the bottom here. And I was thinking I'm just going to run it long ways like this, and I think it'd be the easiest way. Otherwise, if I want it to go up and down, I just got to cut it in a whole bunch of sections. I don't know. I have to decide what I'm going to do. I got plenty of it. Three sheets at 30 bucks a sheet. That is ludicrous. Just ludicrous. Oh. All right, man. All right, I'm going to call this video good, guys. Happy trails.